Life goes by fast when it's slow down. We got older, where did it go now? Back in time when all we had was you and me. These memories. Hi guys, it's Emmy. It's Chad. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we're not at home because we're having a staycation here at the beautiful Kerry Hotel in Hong Kong. Okay guys, a really quick room tour because this place is to die for. We feel so so lucky to even be able to spend one night here. There's so much space, I feel like if I live here, I can just work out everywhere. Even the bathroom is bigger than my bedroom at home. But we're not forgetting to first squeeze in a really quick 10 minutes workout. We'll be training licks today and you guys are going to love it. There will be no jumping, no equipment, so it's super apartment friendly. Enjoy the sweat and burn because no, no pain, pain, no, no gain. gain. Since we heard that there's a huge gym here, I'll also show you a bit of our gym workout after since you guys always ask me what I do in the gym. Let's train hard so we can work out to eat and enjoy all the yummy weekend cheat meal. If you want to watch our big cheat meal after our workout tonight, stay until the end of the video. If you're ready for the workout, let's go! <laughs> stick, stick. Stay can stay can <laughs> Our first exercise is the classic good old air squats. Let's get into position. Stand with feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Hands together in front of your chest. Then sit back down with your head and chest up. Eyes looking forward until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Then squeeze your butt and press your weight back into your heels as you stand back up. This is one rep. Repeat for 45 seconds. You should be sweating a little bit and feeling a burn in your legs. 20 oh seconds. God, <laughs> You might think squats are so basic and simple, but they're awesome not just for your legs but also for burning the fat and building the abs. If you want to know more about the benefits and also the correct form and posture of squats, I'll link my Instagram post in the description box below explaining about this in detail. Alright guys, rest for 15 seconds and we'll get ready for our second exercise, front lunge. and place them behind your head, keeping your upper body straight with your shoulders back and relax and chin up. Engage your core, step forward with one leg, lowering your hips until both knees are bent at about a 90 degree angle. Make sure your front knee is directly above your ankle, not push out too far. Keep the weight in your heels as you push back to the starting position. Alternate between sides for 45 seconds. Lunge is another one of my favorite exercises for tone legs and nice booty because it works the glutes, hamstrings, lower body as a whole and also your core muscles. It is also a back friendly movement. Again, more details on the benefits and correct form and posture are in my Instagram post that I'll link in description box below. You guys are doing amazing so far. Next one, we're dropping down to the floor. Starting on all fours because it's time for donkey kicks. Exercise. Hands directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. We'll first start on the right side for 22 seconds and then we'll switch side. Keeping right knee bent, raise your right leg behind you as you squeeze your booty until your thigh is almost parallel to the floor and your foot up in the sky. One, two, three. You should feel a burn in your glutes, it means you're using the right muscle. Keep it nice and controlled. Try to keep your back and spine neutral and be mindful that we're engaging our glutes muscle to do the work, not the momentum. Next one is slow squat with leg extension. Stand back up, hands together in front of you. Exercise. And squat down like how you would in a regular squat, but do it slowly and be mindful to engage your leg muscles. Once you're at the bottom of the squat, hold your balance and squeeze your booty tight. Shift your weight onto one leg and extend the other straight out to the side. Then come back to squat stance and extend the other leg out. Both legs back to squat stance and squeeze your glutes again as you stand back up. This is one rep. Repeat for 45 seconds. The burn is real but we're not stopping. Hang in there. Keep going and get it done.
Good job. Fifth is side lunge. Another one of my favorite for inner and outer thighs. Exercise. All right, let's get the burn going. First, stand with legs wide apart in sumo squat stance with your hands in front of your chest. Then shift your body weight to one leg bending the knee as you sit your butt back down until your leg reaches a 90 degree angle and the other leg straight. Your butt is pressing back behind you. Then push through your heel to return to center standing position. Repeat on the same side for 22 seconds until we switch sides. No pain, no gain guys, we're halfway through. Sixth is half squat walk across. This one is really going to burn, but that's what you're here for. So let's do it. Exercise. Hands behind your head in a half squat position. Squeeze your booty to lift one leg up towards the side and then the other up so you're moving sideways. You can keep going in one direction or you can turn midway to walk back to the opposite direction, depending on how much space you have. It doesn't matter. You're going to feel an intense burn in your thighs and booty and we're not letting it stop. Just a couple more seconds to go and you're done. Push it, get the last few reps in. We deserve a break. Next one, we're getting back down to all four on the floor for fire hydrant. Begin with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Again, we're starting with right side. Keeping the right knee bent at 90 degrees angle. Squeeze your booty and lift your right leg up until it is parallel to the floor. Lower it back down to the floor and this is one rep. Repeat on this side for 22 seconds and switch side. I could change. We're not trying to do it fast here. The key is to do it nice and controlled so we can feel the burn in the glutes and really focus on using the right muscles. Seven down and only three more to go. Eighth is sumo squat with calf raise. I love this exercise. It is really, really good for your inner thighs and calves. Exercise. Stand with your feet in a wider stance than normal squat. Toes turn out. Bring your hands together in front of your chest and squat down so your thighs are parallel to the floor. Knees over the ankles. Then staying in a squat position, raise your heels off the floor. Then come back down and stand back up. This is one rep. Repeat for 45 seconds. You also need to engage your core and really work your thighs to keep your balance. Hold it up and let's try our best to not fall until the timer is up. work and let's get ready for the ninth exercise reverse lunge knee raise <coughs> stand with feet shoulder width apart hands together in front of your chest take a big step back with your right leg into a reverse lunge then driving it upwards to a knee raise at the front while straightening your left leg then lunge your right leg back again for next rep repeat for 22 seconds and switch side three two one, change. Remember to keep your back straight, eyes looking to the front. Your legs should form 90 degrees angle as you lunge back. Try your best to maintain your balance and just focus on working the legs. We're so close to the end. Yes. 
last exercise squat hold and the most intense burn in this workout but we can do this last minute to go Squat down like how you would in a regular squat but instead of standing back up hold it there in the squat position you got this boo -boo, last one keep all of the weight in your heels be sure to maintain an upright body position with your chest up <laughs> I passed so slowly yeah it's okay just think about the steak oh my god and the lobster sashimi oh my god. oysters oh yeah god, 20 so seconds high. 20 seconds no this steak is gonna be amazing. Tomahawk steak, sir. Long. No, you got this. You got it. Don't go. Don't go. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Hold it. Last ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Three, two, one. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. Stretch it. Stretch your. Stretch your hamstring. That was brutal. Let's stretch it out. The last squat hole was an insane burn. You could tell from my screaming. But in case you feel like you're still up for a few bonus exercises for more burn so we can get those lean legs, follow us. <laughs> First bonus exercise is standing donkey kick. This is quite similar to the donkey kick we did before, but this time we're standing up with a slight bend in both knees. You should feel a burn in your glutes every time your leg is up. You can do this for 22 seconds on each side to make it a total of 45 seconds. Second bonus exercise is my favorite and the most intense in and out squat that is guaranteed to turn your legs into jelly. Try not to pause midway. Really hang in there to finish it. I promise you this is worth it. Yay, so we're done with no jumping legs workout and now we're heading to the gym. Chad is mocking our workout here. Dude, don't fall! <laughs> Come with us if you want to see some of our favorite exercises there that you can also give it a try when you're in the gym. I'm starting with some of my favorite abs exercises. First one is Bosu Leg Raise to really work and scalp the lower abs. I'm doing 15 reps for 3 sets here. Then moving on to exercise ball crunch, a simple and amazing exercise to set the abs on fire. I can feel the burn just in the first few reps. I'm doing 20 reps for 3 sets here. Then I'm going into a full body exercise. Dumbbell thrusters for full body fat burning and toning. It works your muscles from your legs, booties, abs to arms and shoulders. Here I'm doing 15 reps for 3 sets. Then another one of the best full body exercises, kettlebell swing. This time 20 reps for 3 sets. <laughs> I've been trying to train my pull up so I always practice whenever I get a chance to. Here I'm doing 3 reps for 5 sets. Chad also took off his clothes because he wanted to show you guys his pull ups and his beautiful back and shoulders muscles. Last, I'm ending my workout session with some cardio. First with 15 minutes high intensity sprinting on the treadmill then ending with 20 minutes of mid intensity spinning on the bike. I am no expert when it comes to spinning. You guys know that I'm not a big fan of long duration cardio, but I do try to squeeze in a session here and there when I feel like it. Since tonight we're going for a huge cheat meal, we gotta train hard now so we can work out to eat. Before we head to dinner for one of the best cheat meals in our life, we walk around the hotel bed and just wanna show you guys the beautiful night view of Hong Kong. It is so beautiful and I'm so happy to call it my home. Come visit if you guys ever get a chance. This is actually not the main buffet at dinner. These are cocktail hour snacks before dinner which are already so amazing. What are we doing? Buffet <laughs> And now let's finally start with the dinner buffet. There are so many choices. Even just at the cold dishes corner with all the salad, Japanese sashimi, seafood. The dessert corner just looks divine. There's chocolate fondue, all different types of cakes, liquid nitrogen ice cream, gelato, brownies, chocolates, and then all different kind of meats, seafood, and then there's Chinese food corner, Indian food corner, and noodle station. Let's start with cold seafood, lobster and sashimi. Chad has become like me. He has to take a picture of all the food before he eats. And I wished I had enough. Oh, I can't wait. The color unknown. Oh, that is insane, dude. It's huge. It's never let it go. Oh, it's crispy. Yeah. <laughs> The 
This is not part of the dinner buffet. This is the breakfast buffet the next morning. It's really the ultimate cheat meal weekend. Morning. Morning. Thank you for watching our workout to eat weekend. Hope you had a good workout so you can also enjoy the food you love after. You can follow me on Instagram for more on what I eat every day. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next video. See you next week. <laughs>